hello, what? It's another Tuesday here on the YouTubes, and I'm recording this on a Wednesday night. It's some more Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. I'm here with Nate and Salim, and we're right here in uh, in Media Res. We are preparing to take on Marlo and Talbot's little caravan here. Let's go ahead and do some truck jacking. Or maybe not some truck jacking, but let's go ahead and take these guys out. Perfect. Okay. It looks like I can get some more ammo here, too, if I need it. So do we have any trailers? I'm wondering where the, uh, the motorcyclists are. There they are. Anyway, um, you might have noticed there that I hit the guy in this truck with a melee attack. Uh, alternatively, you can just go on and just duke it out against him. You know, without hitting him with a melee attack, but I would uh, definitely advise against doing that. It would probably end your trip really early. These motorcyclists here really don't stand a chance. Let's see if I can get this guy with a headshot. Perfect. And, uh, you know, if you've played Uncharted before, you'll know that these, uh, that these vehicle sequences are, you know, not a sure thing by any means. Go ahead and stay in cover here. Especially with, you know, this movement of the truck. God, I gotta get back into cover. <laughs> so, uh, definitely take your time here. I've had to, uh, it's like a nice little headshot there. I've had to, uh, do this, this sequence multiple times again. I'm not really feeling confident about jumping onto my horse there. There we go. Okay, luckily for us, you know, jumping onto the horse there is pretty much automated if you jump within the vicinity of it uh, after leaving the truck. I think I got this horse thing down. Go ahead and, uh, get on this side right here. Take the sky off, a little ride by action. But uh, easy does it. You know, there's no time limit to get to uh, the lead truck where Sully is. Anyway, it's been a pretty busy week. Let me go ahead and take care of these uh, stragglers behind us. Oh, looks like Salim took care of them. Uh, and I haven't been able to uh, post any of the videos that I've recorded over this weekend. Uh, <laughs> all two of them uh, in in a timetable that seems acceptable. Sorry about that again, guys. There's been a Darth of content this week. Let's see if I can get this guy with a rocket launcher. There we go. Ultimately, we wanna we wanna grab this little toy here. Let's go ahead and uh, heal up for a bit. Okay, get some of this red to go away. But uh, if you haven't already checked it out. Oh, what the heck happened there? Oh no, that was a total miss. <laughs> if you haven't already checked it out, I did start a new Let's Play series. Go ahead and grab some more rockets. And uh, it's elsewhere on my channel, it's uh, Journey. So if you haven't tried that yet, definitely check it out. Oh, <laughs> close call with a the truck there. Uh, that's going to be running alongside uh, in what I hope is going to be a, somewhat of a limited release. You know, I still want to focus on Shadows of the Dam. Uh, and get that finished before I finish the journey. Let's get rid of these motorcyclists here. But if you, uh, you know, get tired of some of the, uh, hard-boiled action that you see between this and Shadows of the Damned, uh, definitely check out Journey. Especially if you haven't even, uh, played it before, if you've only been following it because of, uh, gaming publications. Anyway, right here, once you get into this ravine, you have this little cutscene. Oh. And boom! <laughs> that one-liner just gets me every time. This basically, uh, it effectively marks the end of the first portion of the, of the uh, vehicle sequence. And uh, here, you'll get to part two. You'll notice there was a rocket there that got fired off. And that's because Salim's riders have joined in on the action here. And even though Salim is... Uh, even though Salim is guiding the horse right now, you can still shoot. Wait for the prompt to hit the X button, and you can jump back to your own horse. And then you can uh, be in charge of your own movements again. It's kind of amazing how much fire that guy's taking, and he's still up. He's taking fire from, like, three of us. Looks like I'm running low on M9 ammo. Switch to the pistol for a bit. Each of these trucks has a rider. Whoa! One of Salim's men almost took me out. See if I can get behind this truck, get myself some cover here. Like I said, yeah, definitely no rush. Salim's men will give you some uh, some extra cover. Gee, 
Because I'm just trying to heal up here. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this guy. Okay, okay, looks like I'm in danger. Can I get behind the truck? Get me behind the truck, okay. Probably shouldn't have switched away from the M9. And again, yeah, there is no time limit, so feel free to take as long as you want on this dirt road. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Finally getting that guy to drop. And then once you get past the second truck right here, go ahead and get to the left. Once you can drop this guy right here, this is the end of the second part of the of the uh, vehicle sequence. You want to pull up to the truck up there the with the uh, with the red crane on it. Sullivan! Sully, you in there? You definitely hear Nate calling out to Sully. He's in one of these trucks. Ooh! <laughs> And eventually, yeah, you don't have to worry about that guy, because Sully's going to come in with the commando neck snap right there. Introduce that guy to the ground. Up. Oh. Okay, and in this part, you'd think that you could just shoot this guy right here, with, but you can't. <laughs> it's unfortunate you can't. Just go ahead and jump in. I must have spent, like, I don't know, like a whole clip the first time I played this game trying to drop that guy from behind with my pistol. But unfortunately, <laughs> you have to get onto the truck in order to stop him. It was kind of hilarious because Sully was being choked out for like a good minute there before I could get a touch. <laughs> anyway, another standard uh, big brute melee sequence. Been through these a couple of times already in the game. Just keep feeding him squares and then hit him with a triangle whenever the crop comes up. Ow! Oh god. <laughs> Nate forgetting about the third, uh, third law of motion here. Let's go ahead and drop down on our horse. And bye-bye, says the heavy. That cliffside drop definitely uh, reminding me of The Last Crusade with Indiana Jones. Hey. Oh, you alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, but... Damn, I was sure they'd killed you, kid. Well, they tried, right? <laughs> so how the hell did you find me all the way out here? I had some help. Salim. <laughs> Solomon. All too convenient help. We haven't help. much time. We cannot allow them to reach the city. Oh, I, I don't know. He's right, Nate. I've been trapped with those crazy bastards for days. I don't know what the hell it is Marlowe's after exactly, but it sure as hell ain't treasure. We gotta stop them. Drake, we must go. Now. Yalla! <laughs> Never a dull moment, huh, Sully? <laughs> Why change now? <laughs> yeah! Alright, well, with the good guys regrouped, we're now on our way to... Uh, to Iran, which is apparently just a stone's toss away from where the caravan was. Into the storm? Are you sure you know what you're doing? Trust me, Drake! Trust me! So trust we shall, we're gonna head into this ominous red storm. <laughs> Complete navigation fail. They were within earshot, too, at the beginning. Where's Selene? Must have lost him! <laughs> oh, that's, that's not a good sign. <laughs> the animals can sense evil. Well, either that or they know what's up. They're in a sandstorm and they want to get the hell out. <laughs> must know something we don't. Anyway, this uh, this next sequence can get a little tricky if you don't know where you're going. It's the convoy. Hang back, Sully. I'll go check okay, it out. Ultimately, Nate it. has spotted part of the convoy that Marlo and Talbot came in here with. You're gonna see some silhouettes in the distance. There's one of a truck right over the sand dune. And you'll see two guys walking to the left. There are their silhouettes right there. Go ahead and avoid them for now. Because what you want is this guy all by his lonesome over here. Once you take him out, you can take his gun. So that's exactly what we're going to do. 
And the reason why we want his gun is because it's, as you can see, a bolt-action sniper rifle. This is going to be absolutely perfect for our needs. Uh, there should have been a guy right here, actually, but uh, let's go ahead and take care of these two. Right here. Looks like that was a twofer. And eventually, you'll want to regroup to where Sully is, so I'm going to go ahead and retreat behind this sand dune. Total fail on my part. Let's go ahead and take care of this guy. Drops a shoddy. That'll prove a little bit useful for what's coming up. Oh, hey. That's exactly who I didn't want to meet. It was the heavy, and I'm down. <laughs> I wanted to save the shotgun for the heavy, so let's try that one more time. Maybe this time we'll swing around to the left. Let's go ahead and grab this guy's... Uh, Sniper rifle? Perfect. Come on, Sully, where are you? I need your <laughs> I need your support here, bud. There's the heavy again. Looks like two. Yeah, two rounds with this rifle will be enough to drop him. Probably should have plugged him a little bit earlier. Here's the guy with a shoddy, I think. Oh no, it's a heavy with an M9. Let's go ahead and hit him with one of these. Probably go ahead and grab some cover here since that guy's coming in with some armor. Oh, probably don't want to head that way yet. That's the second part of the level. Go ahead and end this with a grenade. Anyway, the uh, the big problem there was the heavy. Once you can get him dispatched with the uh, bolt action rifle, this is pretty much cake. And if I'm counting right, there should have been another guy here. Maybe he retreated to the second area, which is right over. Oh, well, he's right here. <laughs> There we go. Ah, looks like they got a beat on me here. Sully's got the right idea. Let's see if there's anything up here in the bed of the truck. Doesn't look like it. Oh! <laughs> Never mind, answered my own question. It's an M9. Nice. Yeah, there's tons of ammo for it just lying around here. Just want to do some, uh, some nice cleanup here before I, uh, you know, engage the rest of the natives here. It's probably there behind cover. The reason why I wanted to clean them out is you can probably hear that grenade round going out in the background. Some of the enemies in this next area have the, some of the heaviest weapons in the entire game. No, 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 no. Perfect nade toss. Are you kidding me with that? It's a little bs -y sometimes. There he is. Dropped him. Okay. What you need to next uh, watch out for is, again, once you cross over into this boundary, uh, heavy weapons are going to start coming out. Uh, start, They're going to start coming out at you in force, so... There's a guy with a Tau Sniper. Let's go ahead and take him out. Another guy tried to jump the barrier there, tripped on his own grenade. And that's the heavy weapon I'm talking about. That is an armored truck. So you're going to want this RPG here. You're going to want to take care of these trucks. No, Let's no. go ahead and watch out for that grenade. We took him care of one of those trucks. So we need to find another RPG, and I recommend just going and uh, strafing on over to the right here. Let's wait for a break in the firing. Actually, I think my recommendation probably sucked. <laughs> I don't know where the RPG is here. But uh, let's get rid of this guy up here with the uh, noob tube. At least this way, as you can see, the uh, the sniper and the machine gun don't have a shot on you. Let's take care of this guy up here. Doesn't look like that the sniper was up there. Oh, hey! <laughs> Sit down, bud. You know, there might actually be some more heavy weapons there, so I'm going to go ahead and retract what I said. Let's go ahead and head on over here. 
keep behind cover. And there's the sniper. So you can just fire at the source of the beam. You don't really need a, uh, a clear shot on him. <laughs> Looks like there's just tons of baddies here. Again, just like with any other engagement where you have a lot of terrain, just feel free to take your time here. This guy with a sniper? Oh, it's a heavy. Let's go ahead and fix his day. Thought I picked up a Tau sniper, I guess not. So our next objective, let's go ahead and head up here. Looks like there's some shinies up there. Yeah, that looks like an RPG. So let's go ahead and head up here, take that RPG. We can use that against the vehicles. And another sniper. Don't really know where that sniper's coming from. Don't have a shot against them. I'm gonna go ahead and head back down. Ah, uh, really? <laughs> Must have impacted on the fence there. Let's see if there's another grenade round up here. Yeah, there is. Luckily for us, these RPGs are magical. <laughs> Let's try that again. Probably stand to get a little bit closer with, uh, with uh, Sully watching our backs. Okay, so that's two trucks down. We only have one more machine gun nest oh, shit. to pull down. Who threw that? <laughs> Aha! Ha, <laughs> missed that guy. Wondering if I can get a little bit, if I can stand to get a little bit closer here. Jeez, I spent like three rounds on that guy. Yeah, let's go ahead and see if I can get a little bit closer. I just don't have any visibility on that sniper at all, and it's just pissing me off. Hopefully, with the last of those, <laughs> I still didn't get him. Great. Go ahead and get that our micro back. No, 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 Nate. Don't get shot up. <laughs> and I think I can probably stand to be a little bit more aggressive, so what do you think? Make a dash for the right? Let's go ahead and do it. There we go. Wondering if that was uh, Sully helping me out there. Is there anyone over here? Any weapons? Looks like they're being kind and tossing me a Gmail. Two more snipers have spawned in. And just as you'd expect from a, a firefight in a sandstorm, this is just slow, grog and mess right now. Looks like I dropped that guy. Looks like he tripped his own grenade. Perfect. And I think I saw a silhouette of a guy coming up the middle. It's probably that sniper right there. Ooh! Looks like he dropped his own grenade, too. Okay, and... Whoa! A little premature. Let's see if I can just bum rush this guy. Oh! I, that's all. <laughs> I sure wish it's a... It's all of them. Just took the words out of my mouth there, Sully. I like how the music throws you for a loop there. 
Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, so... I guess a, a kind of a boring firefight there, not, not too much to get in your way other than the sandstorm. You know, let's let's stick with a sniper right now. Something we're there. This is it. Okay. Welcome to uh, welcome to Iram, I guess. <laughs> this is pretty much the outer gate of the city, the lost city, and it looks like someone has already gotten here ahead of us. Come on, let's get inside. And with that oh hey, is that a treasure? <laughs> kind of surprised how I just missed that on the way in on my first times through the game. Oh. Wow. Look at this Absolutely place. incredible. It does exist. It's amazing. In the folklore that was mentioned uh, earlier in the game, uh, like like with Salim, for example, or during the meeting back in London, you know the the uh, the texts that reference this place mention that Iram was uh, the city of city of pillars or city of brass and you can definitely see what they were talking about here there, there seems to be a large amount of brass fixtures all over the place you know obviously I'm not completely for sure that this is brass that we're looking at but it definitely fills the part so uh, here's the doorway into the inner sanctum I guess the inner gate looks like we have to find a way to get these things open that looks like a ladder, so let's go ahead and head up the ladder here on the right. Yeah, it definitely looks like there's some kind of crank or gear mechanism here going on. Oh, hey, I managed to swipe your notebook back off Marlow. Figured it might come in handy. Still got it. <laughs> of course, Sully talking about being a master pickpocket here. Let's go ahead and crack it open. <laughs> I kind of wonder how uh, Sully got it to us as we were climbing up the ladder, but... All right. Is there anything in here about two giant statues? Probably not, since, uh, you know, Lawrence did not get this far. Either, neither did Drake. Francis Drake, that is. Let me just go ahead and cycle here really quickly, though. But uh, I guess this serves as a quick recap of what we've discovered so far on our trip. You know, previously in the game. Yeah, and that's it. Nice little sketch of Elena there, Nate. Nate's quite the artist, <laughs> if you haven't already noticed. Uh, he's pretty adept at sketching, so let's go ahead and Sully up here. hit this one. Oh, looks like I have to hold... sorry. <laughs> hold triangle. Does it run on sand? If you'll notice the in the back there... It looks like sand is driving the gears down. But anyway, it looks like it's stuck, so... Makes sense. There's another mechanism across the hall. There's one on the other side. Yeah. So we're gonna have to find a way to get over there. While Sully holds this one down. So I think we gotta use the, uh, the chandeliers here. Yeah, there we go. And another, another treasure. Awesome. Actually, it's not the chandeliers. The gap is way too far to swing and jump, so... Let me go back. And, yeah, let's get up on these things. Hitch a ride to the very top. You wait here. <laughs> little speechless there for a minute. I thought Nate just jumped and hopped his way to his death there. Anyway. This makes a little bit more sense. I'm assuming... We have to make our jump... Oh, okay, to this platform, and then we can get to this pole here. Alright. There we go. Yeah, and then we can use this as a balance beam. Perfect. Yeah, the chandelier that we could have used to jump here fell to the ground years ago, if not centuries. Almost there. <laughs> I'm guessing uh, this is as far as I can go on the balance beam. It's not letting me move to the very tip. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to the chandelier. Perfect. And across. And just one more. And there it is. There's another uh, little plunger to press down. 
You ready? Go. Awesome. You know, there's one thing that I really admired about the uh, the level design in Uncharted is the fact that they can make these wondrous sculptures like this. You know, serve as a, a really cool mechanism for whatever in the in the lost city or lost civilization. It worked. In the words of Victor Sullivan, I'll be go to hell. <laughs> I'll be go to hell indeed. All right, well, let's go ahead and head back up here. Ah! And make our way around. As you can see, the inner frame of that door, the inner edge, has formed a ladder. Pretty convenient. So we're just going to cycle this way and jump across. And down we go. Actually, let's go up. Maybe they hid a treasure up there. <laughs> Sounds like something Naughty Dog would do. Arg. Okay, I guess they didn't. But as I climb down, you guys can take in the vista of the lost city of Aram. Wow. You know, and this whole door uh, opening mechanism just reminds me of, uh, you know, intricate intricate um, devices that these civilizations used. Uh, the giant Perba Dagger from Uncharted 2 is another one that's pretty similar. Anyway, this is Chapter 21, The Atlantis of the Sands, and man, look at this view. Absolutely stunning with that sand plume in the back. Anyway, this is the start of a new chapter. I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, guys. Next time, we are going to step inside Ubar, officially, and continue the adventure to see what Marlo and Talbot are after, and of course, stop them from getting their greedy little paws on it. So until then, like, favorite, and subscribe. Leave a comment. Take care, guys, and as always, peace out.